Hey guys, like, subscribe, bell, thanks. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, I look like I'm in the 80s. Do I not? Anyway, good morning. I'm about to go wax my eyebrows. I got some sugar wax. I'm gonna give that a shot. Worst case scenario, I ripped my eyebrow off. Um, wearing my Jeffree Star shirt that I got in my mystery box. Love it. And having some vanilla super coffee with almond milk pure and the pumpkin skinny syrup. Not skinny syrup. It's pumpkin pie chalk zero syrup. I'm not impressed with this. I have two tablespoons in my coffee. Now I'm all sticky. Okay. Um, I'm not impressed with that syrup. There's not a lot of flavor. I have two tablespoons in here and my awesome new mug. Happy Turkey Day. Because it's November. And we can say that while I listen to Christmas music. That's not great. And almond milk. I don't know if I said that. Um, I'm going to go wax my eyebrows. And hopefully still have some eyebrow left when I'm done. <sighs> I've never waxed my own. So wish me luck. And then I'm going to do a full face of makeup because I want to. Well, hi. I look a lot different than I did an hour ago. It took me a while to do this. I just used my Bloodlust palette that I got from Jeffree Star. My eyebrows are crazy thick, but the waxing worked. Um, it was actually really easy, like really scary easy. And now I don't have to pay to get my eyebrows waxed for the next like year because that stuff is a lot and you don't use a lot. So that worked out to my advantage. I only have about an hour before I have to be at work. But luckily I only live like five minutes from TJ Maxx and Christy over at the Keto Village posted on her Instagram or Facebook somewhere. I don't know, I'm friends with her on like eight different things. These containers to store her Keto Chow samples. And now I need to go buy them. Like I need to go buy something that will allow me to store my Keto Chow samples. I even brought a sample with me to make sure that whatever I get works. Um, I just have too much shit under the cabinet like where I keep everything so like they are literally because I bought so many samples of the pistachio they're all just like thrown in the box they came in so I'm gonna run hopefully only be gone like 15 minutes 20 minutes come home I have to make keto chow um, I think I might make pumpkin for today haven't really decided yet um, and then that'll be that I did not drink all that coffee because it was poop did not like it not a fan um so maybe I'll stop and get something on my way back like a bang or something I don't know guys I'm so impressed with my makeup <laughs> like I cannot and literally nobody's going to see me except for like a few people at the TJ Maxx whatever not a huge deal I'm just impressed that I look like this but that's it I just wanted to say hello and I will leave a link to the wax that I got down below. I literally just microwaved it for like two minutes, stirred it together, and then it just happened to work out that, you know how eyeshadow palettes come with like the thing that protects the eyeshadow? Uh, I used it to put like the used wax on and it worked really well. Like you don't need strips for this. It was literally like a wooden thing. I went fling fling and ripped and I was golden. Um, I will now be able to do that with the stash if you will. I don't think it'll work for under here just because I never really let it grow out long enough to wax it. Um, except on like weekends, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. I am going to go though. If I get anything spectacular at the TJ Maxx, I will let you know. Whew. Well, I haven't heard this song in forever. Um, went to TJ Maxx, found some stuff and there was a little old lady in the aisle when I was getting the stuff. And I took out the keto chow sample and I put it in the bin. And she looked at me and she went, that is brilliant. And I'm like, can you tell I've been burned before? She's like, absolutely. She's like, that was the best idea. You're on the wrong side of the road. That's not how any of this works. We are not in London. Can you go? Anyway, I got three containers. Probably don't need three, but I figured I can always bring one back if I do. Or if I don't need them. Um, I got different containers to put the bagged keto chow in uh, because the ones that I have are like old and they're not the best for like digging. I only got two though because they only had two because TJ Maxx problems. Uh, 
And then I got, I don't think you can see it in the back, but we, since we moved in, our downstairs bathroom, like our bathroom, the one that's attached to the bedroom, doesn't have any storage, none. It is literally a room with a tub, a toilet, and a sink. It only has a mirror because I found one in a storage unit and Dave put it up. So, uh, we have been using like these, you can hear it, the plastic drawers that I got at Target like a week after we moved in. Been in the house almost four years. And I've just had it with it. So I got these like wicker drawers that are deeper and a little bit more adult looking. Um, and they fit the color scheme of the bathroom and everything. So I'm hoping that they will fit where I need them to go. Judging by having them next to me, they will. They actually seem like they are shorter and not as wide as the drawers we have in there now. So score, spend $60. Now, uh, I did forget to tell you guys, I officially sent the cashier's check to the venue, so yay. Um, and we have our third color picked out, and you know, I've been, we have our third color picked out, we needed an accent color, we got it, we're good. Um, I've been kind of stressing about flowers because I looked up like a DIY video on YouTube and it was like, should I do my own flowers? And the girl was like, well, if your floral budget is 3,000, I'm like 3,000, that's my food budget. And I'm over that. But she was like, you know, you can do a florist. And I'm like, I don't really want real flowers. I feel like that is a legitimate waste of money. Like, why am I gonna spend $3,000 on something that's going to be thrown away or die? So I have opted with very little input from the bearded wonder. He was just like, it's your day, do what you want. Um, the only flowers that will be in the wedding will be the ones that we carry and the ones like the boutonnieres for $289.99. It cost me $309 after tax because it was free shipping. I get my bouquet, a toss bouquet, a maid of honor bouquet, five bridesmaids. I get two pin corsages for the moms. I get a groomsman boutonniere and seven other boutonnieres, which literally works out perfect. I mean, perfect. We have five bridesmaids. Right now we only have, I think, four groomsmen, but we might potentially have five. And then I'll have two left over for my dad and my stepdad because his dad is gonna be in the wedding. So that's like a groomsman boutonniere. So that worked out really well. 289.99. 309 after tax and I had it shipped directly to my sisters instead of having it shipped to me and then shipped to my sisters. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Centerpieces, I do believe I'm going to be doing some sort of balloon thing. I ordered some stuff to test off Amazon. I ordered a lot. I ordered an inflator, um, the balloon sticks, and the balloons just to get a general idea as to how it will look. But I think I know what I want to do. Um, and Dave's like, that doesn't sound like a horrible idea. The only thing is each table's going to need two centerpieces. So I have to do, I'll have to do like a maximum of 32 pieces, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, so things are definitely coming together. And then I figure I can get, like I'm gonna have to get decorations for the mantle that's behind the sweetheart table and things of that nature. But I'm probably gonna get like either the letter M for the last name or just have the last name spelled out. Um, and put that on the mantle behind. I haven't, I haven't gotten to that point yet. But uh, I think I'm pretty far along considering that we are still nine months away from the wedding. I'm very, very happy. I have an appointment to talk to the planner. Um, I'm hoping that she includes cake cutting. Otherwise I have to, to have Mission Barbecue do it. And it's like, they have to, I have to pay more for the staffing to stay. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And then we're running the thought of maybe not having the staffing and just having everything on the table. I don't know, because staffing is like $1,400 just to have people set up the food and serve it. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm home now and I have to very quickly make some keto chow and get to work. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Okay, so this is it. I only needed two, which is nice. These are all my pistachio, my lemon meringue, s'mores. I have some cookies and cream, salted caramel, vanilla, chocolate, some soups, banana, 
and then some snickerdoodle. Um, and then I have chocolate peanut butter and my drops that I hardly ever use. The only dilemma I have, my calendar grows, I'm sorry. It don't fit. Ugh. Guys, I just noticed that my favorite jeans have the fat girl hole. Very hungry. So I've used up 13 minutes of my break. I may as well use the other two. Um, the norm. Hot dog pickle cheese. Delicious. Hello. So I am enjoying some smart cakes. Smart cakes. Because why the heck not? You're a little blurry. Yeah. So smart cakes. I had them in a box. Haven't had these in a minute and they are delicious. So I'm going to eat these. Might add some almond butter and jelly from Perfect Keto onto them because that sounds divine. Done. I don't know if you can hear what is going on outside. There is some sort of a truck moving trash. I don't know what it is. My blinds aren't open, but it is making such an obnoxious noise. It is giving me a massive headache. Like a massive headache. It hurts so bad. It's just a constant vibration. What is that? I have to go look. It is the debris removal from the last two hurricanes. It is the truck. It's gotta be 40 feet long. You had to wait until I was on break to do this. You're killing me. I cleaned up my face, so I will wash it before I go to bed. I just use the makeup wipe. But I wanted to show you guys this. This is the best $12 I've ever spent in my life. I could drink this bottle. I used to lick the seasoning off of salt and vinegar potato chips when I was little, and this is the equivalent to that. And I love it. I love it so much. Always this. Amazon. I will show you dinner when I am done making it. Okay, so I don't know why I keep messing these up. I even froze them for like 45 minutes. And they're just melty. Marinara for them. My last folio wrap that I like overcooked. And I have chocolate meat and taco sauce on. That's dinner. I'll see you in the morning.